class in Carolina as the Blackhawks go to Carolina to start the road trip off with another loss. It was a 3-0 loss to the Hurricanes. And well, what do you expect when you're tanking franchise versus a team trying to compete for the Stanley Cup? You're going to have an outclass performance. The Hurricanes outshoot the Hawks 49. Yes, I repeat, 49 shots to the Hawks 24. Mrazek was iffy in the first period. And, well, he faced nearly 50 shots tonight, letting in three goals. That's a good performance for the tank commander in this one. But the Hawks lose this thing 3-0, and it continues to show how much the Hawks need for this rebuild and what they need to do to fix this team. Because this is showing the problems. Hurricanes are a contender. The Hawks are uh, clearly a tanker. And they're the 32nd team for a reason. So, let's get into the stats of the game, shall we? In this game, face-off percentage, as per usual, the Hawks out does it at the dot by going 55% at the dot tonight. Power play, 0 for 3 for both teams. Hits 30 to 14 in favor for the Hawks. Again, Hawks out hit teams quite a bit because they don't have the puck at all. Hurricanes in the first period outshot the Hawks 23 to 7. And in the second period, it was probably the best per uh, performance the Hawks had. It was 10 to 7 in favor for the Hawks. In the third period, 7 to 19 in favor for the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes clearly are the better team, and they outclass, outperformed, outdid everything for the Hawks, who came into Carolina at 8 a.m. Carolina time. So, that's not a good way to get a road trip started. You go to Carolina the morning of the game, and it's main reason because the NHL has some stupid rules in place where the team cannot travel to their opponent's arena the day before the game after, during the Christmas break. So the Hawks lose this thing easily. It was single-handedly, the Hawks were terrible, and the Hurricanes were the better team, outclassing the Hawks from puck drop. So in the first period, it was all Carolina. The Hawks had no control. They probably had time of possession maybe for a minute and a half, I would say. That's how bad things were for the Hawks in that first period of play. And, well, the Hawks are known for this, giving up the first goal. And they do it again because they gave up all the goals and weren't able to do anything offensively. So, three minutes and 33, uh, 36 seconds into the first period, Martin Natchez gets a greasy rebound off of Peter Mrazek for his 15th of the season, assisted by Brent Burns and Paul Stasny, to make it one nothing Carolina, and that's the game-winning goal. This game was already over from the start of puck drop. The Hawks were terrible to start, and the Hurricanes were just pesos in the Hawks' side, and the Hurricanes continued to press. The Hawks couldn't do much with the puck, and about, uh, just about six minutes later, at 8.53 in the first period, Jesper Foss gets the puck, throws it on the skates of Connor Murphy for his fifth of the season to make it a 2 nothing game. This was assisted by Pesci and Shea to make it 2 nothing Hurricanes by uh, Foss throwing the puck onto the skates of Murphy and they go into the back of our net. So, 2 nothing Hurricanes, Hawks are completely out of it. The Hawks don't have anything going for themselves except for a late power play in the first period. That goes into the second period. In the second period, the Hawks had multiple power play opportunities they weren't able to produce from. They couldn't do much with them. Hawks were moving the puck well, getting opportunities, but Antiranta was outperforming. 
And while we go to this third period, still down by two, and well, an early goal happens, and it comes at 4.55 in the third period by Martinook for his ninth of the season, assisted by Jordan Stahl to make it 3 nothing Hurricanes. Off a backhand, off a rebound from Morazic giving up a puck off the greasy rebound, giving it to Martinook, who gets a wide open 6 by 4 goal. It's a 3 nothing game for the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes continue to press the Hawks, and the Hawks could not do much at all, and that was the game. There was not a lot of action in this game for the Hawks' side of the puck. They couldn't get anything going. The Hurricanes were just clearly the better team, outclassing the Hawks from puck drop and the tank of the Blackhawks with the tank commander himself and Peter Mrazek in net. It continues to show. So, down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your thoughts were on tonight's action, and thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, we're clearly tanking hard for Bedard, and let's go Hawks.